Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of Oxygen Not Included with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you as well for all your comments, your help, your suggestions and the things that you've left all over my videos at the weekend. I do appreciate that. Have we got any more of these seeds? I don't think we have. Have we? Zero seeds. We're still looking for them. Okay, so this episode, what I would like to do is find some more seeds as we're digging around. I mean, there's lots of things in here. Look, some of these may be seeds. So we can go on a hunt. Uh, natural gas keys we haven't got to yet. Research. Now, I would like research because there's something I want to try. We can get pressure plates from there. So let's get them building their pressure plates. And we're going to sort of change around something in here. Uh, we've got decor overlay. These giving out plus 44. Um, so the decor down here is quite high. I want to try something uh, with some lights in here. Um, which I may just put one light in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to that once we've got that thing researched. Uh, it's all under furniture now, isn't it? Ceiling light. Provides light when powered. Um, and it gives a decor plus 10%. So I'm thinking if I could put a light in the middle here and have it cover all of those, then we could have something good going on. Let's get that deconstructed with our automation. That's the that's the point. Uh, we've got a new rock granulator um, skin, which we didn't have before, which is very good. I'm pleased with that. And I also want to try something else with the automation. At the moment... There seems to be a bit of a thing that you can easily destroy gases, um, which will be interesting. So what I'm going to do is we've got... Like, CO2 is coming down there, filling that up. It's filling this up. We've got a bit sort of coming down here as well. I think that CO2 is going to always stay there, which is good. That's never going to go anywhere. Um, that, I might just put that down on the lower priority. So we could... Let's just have a look around. What's the gas pressure? 1300 that is set to yeah this is all filling up quite a lot I wonder what that one's set to to go off in pressure above 850 but the pressure up here is sort of 500 yeah do you know what that is not bad actually I want to sort of let's do 550 and try and save some of that algae but what I want to try and do is destroy some of this CO2 another way and we'll see if we can give that a go so what i'm probably going to do is get these guys and girls to dig out some of this here uh, we're going to run our ladder down to here and we're going to run our fire pole down thank you as well for all the comments on the how to whoops how to get the fire pole set up you'd let me know the comments on the first episode i record ahead for the weekend so i'm not working at the weekend so um i didn't see your comments but lots of people saying about the doors some saying putting the door above um, I just tried here, actually, because what happens here, Ada will come through, she'll go on the pole, she'll go up, she'll actually collect water through this block, which is annoying, because technically she shouldn't be able to go anywhere up here, because that door faces in, and that door faces in. But sometimes they will do that, so they'll run up there, grab water from there to put in this. Uh, that, I'm actually going to disable that now, because we have some oxygen in there. Um... And that pole's going to go... Yeah, look, him. You watch. Ascan. Where's he going? We can click on him and see where he's going. He's going up to here. Is he? Let's speed it up. He's not actually showing where he's going to. But let's see what he's going to... I bet he's going to grab water through the wall. Because technically, he can't go through those doors. He's going to... Right, okay. So if there's anything one block either side of this pole, they can go through doors and through walls. Which is annoying. I mean, then they whiz down super fast. So, you know... That's not the end of the world. Um, so, what they're losing by crawling up to maybe that <laughs> and the water, they're gaining with the speed that they're then going down. Like that. I mean, that is super duper fast. So, what I would like them to do is to dig out all of that. Grab all of that metal, which you should be able to do standing there. And then I'm going to put some doors in here. Look, see, he's going up now. Ah, oh, that's because he can't get out. So that's fair enough. He's going up to breathe. Research complete. So we should have now pressure plates. Aha, here we go. So they can walk on pressure plates. So if I get one built there, then we're going to have automation wiring. I'm wondering whether I need... If I go under each of these, automation wiring there, 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 and there. Um, we are going to grab a ceiling light. Yep, so that will nicely fill that up. 
And then, of course, that's going to need power, uh, which we can just grab from over there. There we go. And then we're going to put our pitcher back in over there. Excellent. So let's let them work on that. There's a hatch in there. He's going to be eating our food, isn't he? I'm thinking we might just dig out that and that. If you don't mind. Because our hatch is going to be eating our food otherwise. Uh, what are these set at? Oh, they need to be set at six. There we go. Get those done. If you don't mind. There we go. Excellent. Well done, peeps. Well done. Um, I think at the moment we've got... Ah, oh, I bet they're eating. They are eating the meal lice. I would like the meal lice turned into... What's it bars, please? So I put those on continuous as well. And then that like that. Hopefully they should do that. Here we go. So when this is done, you will then sit on there and get some light. Will you not? Now, why is that... Hmm. Uh, automation overlay. Oh, I know what it is. I haven't connected the wires up all the way along here. Okay, we'll do that. You fill those in for me. That one's hooked up. That one will be built and hooked up. There we go, the light's on. Excellent. So every time someone comes in there or sits down to eat on any of these... Are you putting the picture in as well? Thank you kindly. You're probably not going to be able to get up there, are you? have to come around that way. It will turn on the light and give us an extra 10%. There we go. We know about no research. That's fine. These other, if you haven't noticed, these other examples, oh, these other warnings are places that we haven't found yet. So, yeah. Hooray! And let's put the priority at seven on that picture to get that done. Then we'll check what's going on. Excellent. We're going to dig out those for me. Have we got plenty of storage? Storage is running out again. Uh... What are you waiting for? Insufficient resources, meal lice. Okay, we can make those. That I wish it would do that. I wish you could set up two. You have to change that now, otherwise it's not going to work. But you've used all the meal lice. Okay, well, that's fine. I want somebody to come and eat. Ah, oh, no one's going to come and eat. We'll see that tomorrow. But let's get some doors set up in here. Now, I'm assuming... Function... He's going to eat all of our ore. Hey, nice. Thank you for that. We have to make sure we put our ore stored somewhere. Do you know what we can do? We can store it next to here. But that's going to be used a lot for in there, isn't it? Oh, the picture's going in. Excellent. The light is on. The stinky sat down to eat. Perfect. So let's have a look at our decor overlay as soon as this picture goes in. Quick sip of tea. That's it. Yay! Excellent, thank you very much. So, let's just pause the game and have a look. So, decor, as you said before, total. Uh, so, 66. So, he's just having the light there, giving us... Ah, automation wire gives a minus 8, and a wire is minus 4. So, we were getting 44 there. When the light goes on, the next time somebody eats... Yeah, they can't get across and go up there easy now, can they? We have to put a floor in over here. Can you... We'll check that again in a sec. Can you sweep all of that for me? Before that hatch comes and eats it all. Oh, there we go. Let's put that in... Raw metal. Copper ore. Uh, we'll put that on a seven so it gets moved over to there. Thank you. But yeah, that should give us a bonus anyway. The light will... And it'll only work when the switches kick in. Which I'm pleased with. I think that's a cool little find. Um, yeah, so doors. Doors, doors, doors. How should we do that? At the minute, doors can be automated to remove gases and liquids. Um, so I want to give that a try down here. Let's just slow things down a minute. So I've seen people do it with mechanized airlocks. They cost 400 each. These cost 200 each. Do these sort of doors, I don't know, have the ability to have the automation go into them as well? Let's just get them to build one of those. And that switch can go there. And we'll just take a look. Uh, and then we'll build one of these here. I'm assuming it doesn't really matter which way around it goes. There we go. Oh, oh we missed it. I was going to have a look. Get doing those for me and we'll do some tests. 
But that could be a good way of getting rid of all of our CO2 that's sort of building up. Um, so we can see how that goes. I'm going to set that a bit higher. Uh, 650. Not quite enough. Oh, when you're ready, get those done for me. Thank you. So let's have a look. Right, okay, yeah, there's no automation on that one. So that's why. So let's get rid of that then. Um, I think these are going to need to go sideways now that I thought of it. So I'm going to actually do, take that one apart as well, which is a bit silly because I'm only going to get half the stuff back. Let's dig that out. Let's dig that out. In fact, I think I'm just going to grab like all of this. Got like dirt down here, got loads of stuff going on down here. And that'll just help with our CO2 fall down, won't it? Yeah, we may as well grab this as well. Thank you very much. And then these guys can run down the pole. I'll just put that down to there. Then they can get down and go back. How's this going? Yep, filled up. Almost excellent. Getting much polluted oxygen up here, and I think that's dealing with most of it. What we don't want is the air pressure to drop down here, which I think we're okay with. Right, let's see. So, if we do some doors... That is not the right button. If we do some doors round like this... In this area here... Yeah, we need to go down a little bit here. Let's dig that out when they wake up. And I'm going to have this as like a CO2 removing machine, basically, until it stops working. Because you know what's going to happen is eventually... We need another battery in here, don't we? Eventually, it's... Um, that whether if it is a bug, is going to be taken out of the game. So we'll have to see about that. Uh, while they're doing that, we also want to get over to here... Let's just check there's no germs in this. No, we're fine with germs. The temperature's quite high. Now, we can do some stuff with some thermal shift plates to cool that down. What have we got here? Oh, there we go. The doors are going in. They're digging out the stuff. You dig that out. And then I'm going to add in that one. And I can just do that like that. Yep. They're working on them. I'll leave them at a five and you can work on them when you get to them. Uh, thermal shift plates. I can never remember blooming under which thing they are. Utilities? Yeah, there we go. What can we make those out of at the moment? Lots of stuff that we don't have. Clay, dirt. I want to pick the best one. Copper. Thermally reactive. At the minute, it's going to be... Wolframite would have been good. But it's just going to be one of these, I think. Overheat plus 20%. Maybe granite. And it's got the plus 15. Oh, that's overheat temperature. Thermally reactive. This one here. Yeah, what's that? Igneous rock. I think that'll be the best choice at the moment. Uh, overheat temperature minus 10. Slow heating. No, let's use the igneous rock. And we can use that to spread the heat uh, from this water, from the steam geyser geyser. And send it elsewhere. Now, I also would like to find a cold biome. And try and find one of those new things. Oh, there's more, more of those up there. I bet there's going to be some seeds in there. If we dig across here. Like that. Man, there's so much metal, isn't there? This is nice. Uh, we're going to need some more storage. Our storage is going to be filling up so much. How are you getting on with the doors? Yeah, if we can find a nice biome somewhere around, then hopefully we can find that uh, new heat sink that you pump in hydrogen and it cools things down as well that would be that would be good so we'll see what we can do how are we doing here yeah going okay doors are going in excellent so we're going to have some automation wires they only cost five that's going to be going through all of these up to there up to there and I don't know what... Oh, we've run out of... Oh, it's refined copper, isn't it? Okay, yeah, let's make some more... Uh, copper ore. We'll make copper and sand. There we go, we'll get those going. Do we have an animation on here yet for these working? Nope. Travaldo's standing there and working those. 
Excellent. There we go. So that door's open. Oh, that's good. So we don't need power. Nope, it'll just do it. Right, okay. Oh, can they not reach all of those? Oh, I bet they can't, can they? We should have built them a layer at a time. Oh, they're going through the door. Okay, they're climbing over the doors. Fair enough. That's an interesting way of doing it. <laughs> uh, where is our... What's been stored in here? Organic, agricultural, organic... Do you know what? There's not that much of the stuff here, is there? If I take that off of there and get them to move that, I'm going to put refined metal in here. That's the seven. What's the rest of my... These are all... I'm going to put these on six. So they will sweep up. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Good, good, good. How are you getting on up here? Not yet. Mm, I don't know why that block was there. I put that tile there. Oh, because of the vacuum. Okay, what's in here? Carbon dioxide. That's okay. I just want to get some more seeds. Stop living off of dirt. Oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Ashcan's working that. Getting some refined metals for us. There we go. So as well as the doors open, we might even be able to see this working already. As they're opening and closing the doors, we want to see if the level of the CO2 drops down. But as a whole, this should. Every time they open the door, if it still works, should end up being a vacuum. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if it still works or not. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, let's also go down here. I'm gonna, I want to dig this all out the same underneath. And then that as well. Yep, we'll go down to there. Whoops. There we go. So we've got a nice CO2 pit anyway once that gets going. Uh, are we running short on stuff? Or awaiting copper ore? It says copper ore. They don't mean copper ore, do they? They mean refined copper. Okay. Yep, we'll get to that when they wake up. Um, that's all working okay. So another thing we want to do is have a look at our research, actually. What do we want to work up to next? Well, we're not far from advanced automation for metal refinery. Duplicate checkpoints. Um, is there anything else we could do with on the way before we start getting into all of that? Uh, fertilizer, hydroponic farm. Animal control, but you need plastic for that, don't we? We're not there yet. Natural gas generator, yeah, maybe that would be good. And then the heavy watt wire stuff. Uh, medical research, we don't need. Insulated liquid pipes. Yeah, maybe this here, because we've got natural gas generator. Oh, where's the hydrogen generators? Oh, that's this one here. Coal and hydrogen, we've got that one already. Oh, they haven't finished that. Finish that off first. Because we're going to start be going to be start making oh my goodness me English oxygen with this taking water power and it's going to pump out some hydrogen and we can just stick one of these down here somewhere and just let the hydrogen float to the top of our base for a change and sort of have a power system up here with the natural gas generator and the hydrogen as well I thought I saw something there. Uh, and we've got other hydrogen we can let in. But we want to get this water down here somewhere. Research complete. Excellent. All right. When they finish building it, this, we'll get them to do some more. Yeah, they're all saying no wire connected. But I think that's... Yeah, they'll manually use them, of course. They'll manually open and close them. And then I can do that. Yeah, that's right. And they can use them as climbing, which is interesting. Hmm, okay. Even though they're open. Good. Um... Yeah, so where are we going to put this water? While we're sort of waiting for that. Looking at the heat of stuff. Down here is quite cool. Is there germs? There's germs down there. I mean, if we could sort of drop it down to here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Is that going to make much of a difference? 45, 68. And then stick a load of thermal plates in there. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, we could try that out. And we could just sort of dig that round there. What have we got now? Yes, hydrogen generator. Whoa! Well, if you're going to go up the place where you should be going down... Yeah, I've turned this thing off. I should maybe enable that again. <laughs> Until we've got all this set up. Uh, yeah, we can build a nice airflow tile box. Sort of around here, couldn't we? 
Those gases was they'll sort of dissipate anyway. Yeah, that'll be okay. But we need to get some sort of way of getting over here. Um, if we dig that out, dig down here. I want to leave some of the abyssalite in there. So maybe up to there. That would work, wouldn't it? And then we can dig out those. Yeah. They'll get to that once they've done this. Is this all priority six, hopefully? Yeah, let's let's priority six all of that and get it done. And this bit over here we can cancel for now. There we go. That's gone in. Good, good, good. Thank you very much. Everybody's running over. That's what we want to see. <laughs> and then they're going to climb up there because they can't get across here. Yeah, we may do something with the fireman's poles. We'll come up with something, don't worry. Right, all of these are open at the moment. So let's have a look. They're all going to bed. Let's just slow things down. So we've got a lot of carbon dioxide in there. Let's flick that switch. Oh, someone's got to actually come and do it, haven't they, now? I'm sure before they didn't have to, and we could just flick it ourselves. Signal switch. Unless there's some other switch. Either they've changed that in one of the patch notes, and I haven't seen it. Or there's another switch. There's this switch. That turns power on off, of course. It's not that one. Yeah, I reckon... I reckon they've changed it, so it has to be dupe, dupe used, as opposed to me just turning it on and off myself, which makes sense. I mean, that's how the rest of the game works, isn't it? It's all... Uh, I'm just looking around in case there's any other switches I'm missing. But anyway, they can come and do that for us. It's not a problem. Yeah... I think that's what it is. Okay, let's get through the night, get somebody to come and do that. So we want to keep an eye on... So at the minute, it's up here. It's seven... I mean, we may have to block all of this in with doors. This is what I'm going to test. So it's 778. Uh, in there, it won't show us because there's doors in there. So it's sort of 750, 780-ish. Okay. So let's get them to wake up when you're ready. Okay. They're going to come and flick the switch. I'm just Right. Okay. All the doors are shut. Yep, there we go. Now look at this. It looks like there's no gas in there, although it's only showing us the doors. There we go. They're digging all of that out. So, yeah, that's like push the gas up to there, isn't it? 1,200, 1,500. I bet they've removed it, haven't they? I bet they've removed it. Let's turn that on and see what happens. It Or it may be... Right, let's have a look. 1,500, 600... 500, 600. I don't know, actually. I'm wondering whether we do need some more doors in there and like to close this area off. Have a door open to let the gas in. And then if the gas can't go anywhere else, that would be a better test, wouldn't it? Let's do that then. Let's fill this in like that. Um, I mean, maybe up to there. We can block off this little section down here once they've started digging it out. There we go. He's running along and munching. Uh, let's put that on a party six. Let's get all that done. Let's add in our automation. There we go. That can attach to there. That can attach to there. Good. Got enough refined stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got 125. That's good. And then, how, what should we do around the side then? Should we close? So how are we going to do this? We want the gas to come in, first of all, don't we? I think I might just move that switch. To outside. Yeah, we'll have that switch somewhere else. So I think we need a door. We need to, like, block this off, don't we? Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to remove that pole from going all the way down. Let's get rid of that. Thank you very much. And get rid of that one there. So it stops at that level. And we want a door that isn't going to let the gases through. 
I mean, there could be some way of automating this as well. So we flick a switch, and at the other way, it's open. So it's the opposite of this. That could be good. Uh, let's remove that. Um, how would I do that? I think we're going to need some some gates. Let's research advanced automation then. You've got to go via power. So what do we get? The AND gate, the OR gate, the XOR gate, if one or more system is active, NOT gate. So I think that'll do, that'll do the opposite for us. That's what we want. Okay, let's have that. But for now, we can do this as a manual thing. But now I'm thinking about that. We'll add that in there. Uh, we're going to also put that in there and priority six those. Yeah, so the gas doesn't go down here. That's what I'm thinking. Good. And then we're going to want the same over here. So we're going to deconstruct that. We're going to add that in. We'll have that face in. Uh, what is the autom Oh, it's not showing the automation thing. If I go like that and place it. Oh, yeah, it always stays on the left-hand side. Oh, okay, well, that doesn't make any difference then, does it? So let's have that there. Um, and then we'll have the automation. We won't automate these two doors for now. We'll leave that. Oh, can you hear the little beep when they walk over those as well? That's another little thing. They make a little sound, and the longer you make your automated wire, the different tone is made. So you can sort of make a music machine that they run over. Interesting concept there, maybe, for something in the future. Yeah, that's definitely not enough, is it? Let's up that uh, 750 and see how that goes. Okay, there we go. That's done there. So I want that automated wire to come. Oh, actually, I could have it come up to up here, couldn't I? And have the switch there. There we go. Did you hear that? Yay! Oh, let's have a look. This is what we wanted to check, didn't we? Let's check the decor. So what have you got there? 106.5. So you're getting 66 from the masterpiece instead of 44. Because over here you normally get... There we go. 44.5-ish. So that's good. 33 from the mess table. 15 from the lighting. Plus 5.5 .5 from the tile. Then a little bit, couple of little bits of loss. But that is an automated system which which could really make a difference to uh, to an area. So let's go like that, like that, and like that. Okay, so that area in there... Oh no, hang on a sec. <laughs> How the heck's the CO2 going to get in? <laughs> I need to think. <laughs> Okay, I think I've come up with something that should work here. It's, I mean, uh, you know, I'm not saying this is the best design ever, but if that... Why does it keep doing that? Stop turning onto that automating page. I didn't press anything. Uh, if we move that wall over and had some more doors down there, then we could have easier for the air to get in. Which, uh, I'm wondering whether to change it or not. Let's leave it as it is for now. And then we've got these ones down here I want them to do. Let's get all this to a six as well. There we go. Um, and then eventually what I'll do is I'll put these doors... Yay, research is complete. There we go. Oh, well, I might do that now then once I've built that. Is put some knock gates on these doors. So, uh, these top two. So it's the opposite. I'm assuming that's how knock gates work. What are we going to need? Uh, oh, we're we not there yet. Uh, well, maybe we're not yet there yet. No, we're not. They're just doing advanced automation. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering whether to move that wall over one and it would just make a bit more sense there and then that co2 could come in 
rather than a small gap like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that as well. So let's just get rid of those. Let's grab our mechanized airlocks. We're out of metal, so they need to grab this metal over here as well. Let's just add that as a six. There we go. Let's have a quick look around, make sure everything else is going okay. Oxygen, yeah. We're not out of algae, are we? No, we've got algae, and there's plenty around to grab, so I'm not worried about that. Suffocating. Well, don't suffocate. Please don't do that. What is the pressure on that, then? Activate if below 750. Oh, I bet it's this. Is set to, yeah, let's put that on a 6 as well. There we go. Any more seeds? We do have another se Whoa, no! Where? What? Oh, man! Don't... Oh, it's the same flipping priority thing we had before. They will do anything but blimmin' breathe. And you look like you're about to struggle as well. Oh, man, are we going to lose two? Oh, it's the door that's... Oh, the priorities are still anything. They'll do everything above breathing, even if it's only priority six. That's nuts. Oh, I hope they fix that soon. That isn't good at all. Darn it. Okay, well, never mind. Let's, um... Uh, did we not get enough? Oh, we're putting it all into that as well, aren't we? Um, is there any more we can grab? There's a load up here, isn't there? So if we carefully priority six some of that and this... There we go. That will give us a little bit more metal. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, we need to turn this on again then. Let's enable that. Good grief. I don't like the way priorities are working at the moment. It's a bit odd. It is a bit odd. Okay, we can build again. Uh, we don't have anything refined. Yeah. So I'm going to have one, two, three in there. There we go. And then that door can open. Particularly here, I'm thinking of. Maybe not so much that side twice the width of stuff to run in and then we'll put a door down either side so we'll get let them build that first hopefully when we have enough metal to do it there we go well done got yeah we go a bit more metal well done guys well done guys uh let's actually get them to grab that as well we should be able to get up there do that help them out a bit then we'll get in there and hopefully grab some of those seeds as well. So I'm going to put that on a, a six. There we go. Get mining. How's the storage going? Okay, we've got one left. Yeah, I don't want these holding refined. I want the refined to go in there. So if I do that and select all of those. Yeah, that means we haven't got any refined metal at all. Oh, we can see that up there. No copper yet, we have some. Let's just do another six of those. In fact, if we do that, that's going to give us 100 to 50. That's 600. Yeah, we've got tons. We've got tons. Yeah, so I might as well let them get those last couple. A little bit of stress going on, but we're fine. And then I'm going to get them to deconstruct these. Yep, put the wall around. And then we'll be ready to test our... What can we call this thing? Oh, is there like no power anywhere? Oh man, that's really going to stop you using the... A couple of people have commented upon my uh, priority creep, which I, I tend to have from time to time. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately that's just the way it goes. But it's really going to stop you with the priority creep if... You've got to make sure there's oxygen anywhere you set any other priority. Otherwise, that's a big pain, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we've got a door up there closing that off. That's good. There's some oxygen still getting out, so... Good, that one's on again. It's got some algae. You need to go on an algae hunt suit. Right, I'm going to put some of these on six. Wish me luck. Those ones there and those ones there. And then we'll do the bottom ones in a minute. Uh, we can put some automation, can we? Yes, we can. There we go. I'm going to put those on a six. Yeah, I know these are sideways and could have gone the other way. But hey, ho! oh no, I didn't want this one there. Not that one. Put 
built. That's the way I built it. Yeah. Good. I may change the wires around at a later date to make them more pleasing. Okay, you can't reach that. Whatever, don't dig it then. Oh, I'm just realising, of course, we're going to need a grave around here. People are getting very stressed seeing poor Ada down here. Um, uh, Tasteful Memorial. Where should we bury poor Ada? Somewhere out of the way where the poor dupes don't have to walk by and see her all the time. Um, maybe up. I mean, we're going to dig that copper at some point, but maybe up here. Although we're going to have lots of machinery and stuff. Huh. Over here. Come on, Tasteful Memorial. Those rooms are going to get expanded. I'm thinking I don't want to move them later. And I don't want them walking past them all the time. Although, what does it say on here? Decor minus 15. Yeah, so that's not good. Maybe over here. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get Ada in there as soon as they wake up. Interesting, look. Every time a door is placed, it's pushing their body further and further over there. So I think that displacement thing is still going on. There we go. Ah, uh, Ada's been delivered. Poor Ada. Our first loss. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, we've got one more wall to get in and then we just need to deconstruct like these ladders here as well and put a wall in so let me get them doing that so that means we're going to need another ladder down there and we'll need another ladder up here so they can build the wall that we want them to do there we go like that let's deconstruct those in fact you can deconstruct all of that and the same over here we'll deconstruct all of that man i hope this works after all of this there we go. Don't get yourself stuck. Are you not able to get out? I bet you're not, are you? Priority 7 on that block there, please. Right, can you get out now? Oh, you can't stand up in here, can you? I bet that's what it is. Or can you? No, you can't. Oh, you can go diagonally in a one block, but two, you'd have to crawl. Okay, dig that out. Priority seven. Cancel everything else. There we go. Okay, excellent. Don't want any more people dying on my watch. Because we've had enough of that. There we go, get those in. We'll worry about all of that in a minute. Plants are going good. We're getting some meal lice in again, which is nice. So what I might just do is as we're doing so we'll switch that around excellent so that should be let's just slow this down a minute I think if i go up to there that's all the way down we've got the doors oh they're just doing this side here let's priority six that and all of those we can put our blocks in oh no hang on what we're we talking about uh how did i do it this side then oh i've got the actual door Oh, of course, yeah, that needs to be in there. We need an extra door here. That's what's confusing me. So we'll add that door there to not be used and that door there. And then we'll add in... We've got automation wires there. Right, I'll check all this over in a minute. That should be everything we need. And they're still researching our knock gates, are they? Yes, they are. These are probably on priority five, aren't they? Yeah, so once they finish this, they'll get back to their normal duties. There we go. Let's add that into there. How's it all looking? Yeah, we've got quite a big area here now, haven't we? That's... So what we could do is actually carry these on up to there and get rid of that. There we go. It's gone. And we can dig out that. And that's going to be disabled. There we go. Good, good, good. Oh, we've got one more wire. It needs to go in. I just spotted it. Up to you. Excellent. Ah, oh, right. Here we go. The whole thing's done. Right. So, all the gas in here, which we can't actually see 
how much it is because it just shows us the doors. If I get that switch to flip, I mean, nobody else should go through there, hopefully. If I turn that on, let's see what happens with that gas. I'm hoping they'll come and do it reasonably quickly. I don't want people walking through. You're going to flip that switch for me? Okay, did I not press the button correctly? You have flipped it again. Is my wires not connected up? It is. So that's connected up to all of those. <laughs> why, why, why is it not flipping them? It flipped them before, and now it's not flipping them. Flipping egg! Okay, turn on. Oh, the game's falls. That, ain't, well, that won't be helping, will it? Okay, so that is active. Uh, do they need power as well now then? They didn't before. Turn off. Okay, quick reload of the game um, has fixed the problem. For some, somehow, the power um, had become, or not, I should say not the power, the signal to these doors had become stuck in the on position. Um, I don't know why, but anyway, there we go. I tried all sorts of things. I removed the switch. I deleted the wire. did all sorts of things, but anyway. So there we go. They're all shut. That was full of CO2. And there we go. Let's build the switch. Right, that is now opened. And let's have a look what's in there. Nothing. There is no gases in there at all because they've had nowhere to go. Ah, now it's showing us full up again. Oh, darn it. Have they fixed it? Okay, well, let's try that. Let's uh, open that and open that. And let's see what happens. So up here we've got uh, carbon dioxide, 337 grams, 600 over here. Let's see when they open these doors, whether that changes. Okay, 300, 200, so, no. So to me, 45, yep, there's definitely nothing in here is there i think it's just the way it's colored because this is all falling down and going down here 226 227 huh. now there would be an easy way to test that gas it's hard to see liquid would not be hard to see so what we could do is put some liquid in here and see whether it works that way oh we have a new person we need a new dupe let's see who's coming along uh, destructive binge eater vomiter. Don't like binge eaters. Don't like destructive, but to be honest, I don't think you're going to get stressed. What are you good at? You're an architect. Good at construction. You've got good immunity and strength. Amphibious. Yeah, you're going to join us. Catalina, welcome to the crew. This is your bed down here by the look of it. So I, I think that's working. I think that is taking all of this down here look that's going down it's going up again i think that's all falling into here look the oxygen's falling in definitely actually that'll be a good test we'll be able to see some of the oxygen one of there's another if i use another one of these you'll get a better view nah. of what gases are in there and what aren't well look there's some oxygen in there so if i get these doors shut like this. I want those on a six as well, so they get done pretty quick. Yeah, there's some oxygen. So we'll get those doors closed if they're awake. Yeah. Oh, we got a morb in here. Uh, yeah, we don't want him lying around, making all sorts of smells. Uh, let's get our top people on it. You and you, stinky and ash can. Oh, the doors have shut. Okay, there we go. Go on, zap him up. Zip him, zap him. Get some nice meats to add to our food pots. Ah, uh, maybe not. Okay, we'll take that off. Right, okay, so let's have a look in here. Yeah, we have some oxygen. This will be a good test so we can actually see that. So let's flip this switch and see what happens. Right, the switch has been flipped. Let's flip it again. Flip. Rip. There we go. Let's see what's in here. There is no oxygen in here. Yep, so I would say that definitely works. It's removed everything that's in there. And we can also use that for removing 
That's not working anymore, is it, over there? No, we could also use that. That's polluted oxygen for removing liquids. Any liquids that we don't want. So, like, these liquids over here. We filled this up with doors or even pumped them into here. You know, we could do that. We open that one and open that one. Got to be careful because we haven't got much algae at the minute. Uh, we've gone and collected some. We keep letting gases into here. We're getting very low on gas. As long as it's only getting rid of CO2, which it isn't really at the minute. It's filling up. Oh, yeah, we can leave it open. And then when the... Yeah, look. And that auction will get pushed to the top. And when we see nothing in here but red, then we know we can run it again. But that could be quite handy. And unless they fix that, which I don't know whether they will or not, for getting rid of gases and liquids we don't want. And I was just thinking about putting a bottle empty here. Just again for testing purposes. Uh, could we put it on here? Let's do that and chuck a load of liquid in there. Uh, bottle empty. Let's get that on a seven right there. That'll drip in, won't it? Excellent. And we'll mop this up and chuck it in there and see what happens. <laughs> and get rid of another load of air from our base. <laughs> there we go. So if we set that for polluted water. Uh, for this example, that's going to be a seven. Just so we get it done. That's also going to be a seven. Let's mop. Ah, oh, too much liquid. Boo. Let's turn that one off. Uh, okay, do we have any polluted stuff somewhere we can sweep up and test with? Uh, we can't reach that, so let's cancel that. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they found some. Oh, good. Okay, well, that's good. We can test this out. Excellent. What's this one here? Is that polluted oxygen? Let's empty that. I've moved that chester down here. Well, we've got some in there. And we've got this guy running around. Well, there we go. Look, that's a good test. We've got some liquid down there. Oh, they're all in bed. I was going to get them to flip the switch now. Um, oh, that's annoying. I hate it when it says that. It's too much. So that means we can never get rid of that unless we put a load of doors in there. But I think the key is, is not having, making it so there's nowhere else for the stuff to go. Okay, that one's empty. Let's just look at our... Yeah, we don't have much oxygen in there. And this is going to drop down as well if we're not careful. That's pumping away. We also could do with some airflow tiles. That's something we don't have in our base. So let's help with that. Uh, we'll have one, one there and one there all the way up and down. Yeah, in there, in there. We've got one there already. We can't. Can we put them here as well? No, we can't. Has that completely replaced the block that was under there? Yes, it has. Okay, well, that's going to flood out the door anyway. Um, and then do we want any here? No, we don't want any there. Because we don't want the gas. When these close, it pushing the gas up. Oh, look, they are finding some to put in there. Okay, fair enough. There we go. And that will help that flow around a bit more. Good. That polluted oxygen will go. Everybody's not stressed. Everybody's immune system is fine. Uh, we know the research was completed. Oh, yeah. So we want not gates for this, don't we? So we want to flip the switch. So that's right, isn't it? It becomes active if the system connected to its input is on standby. It goes into standby when it's active. So what have we got at the minute? This is active. So it becomes active, becomes standby. When, yeah, so we put that here. We should be able to just put that like that. Uh, input is the black one. And yeah, so if we go like that. And the same over here. Yep, yeah, next to there. And then if we run one of these through there and to there. And then that should do the opposite, if I'm right. So that should close now. Yes, it should. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So when we want to run this thing, although sometimes we do want to... Sometimes we do want that to open manually, don't we? Maybe we'll think about that. But if we flip that now... Oh, no, that's not going to work, is it? We're going to flip that. And these are going to open. And all the stuff's going to go out. No, we have to leave that on manual, don't we? Yes, we do. I've, yeah, I thought I was being clever there. But... I'm not really, am I? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Uh, and that and that. Can I not deconstruct that wire? And that one there. We don't need that extra one. Yes, I can. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of those. Okay, the doors aren't connected anymore. 
Well, the doors are closed, so let's leave them. Good. There we go. Excellent. So we can test this then. Let's flip. Hey. Thank you very much for almost ruining our test. Uh, let's lock that and lock that. Those could be on the opposite, so nobody comes in and out. No, because they'll shut and they'll open again. No, none of them can be on the opposite. Uh, that one doesn't need to be locked. We'll just leave that on auto because no one can get down there anyway. Lock that for me. Good. Right. Okay. Let's test it. We've got liquid in the bottom. We've got a little bit of oxygen flying around. <laughs> Everybody's going to suddenly go to bed. <laughs> just, just when I want to flip the switch. Uh, how are we doing up here? Yeah, our food isn't on anything high enough, is it? So I don't want to run out of food. Uh, that can actually be deconstructed, I think. Because I think our air... Yeah, our oxygen will now come across there. So, right. Let's flip the switch. And watch how this goes then with our liquid at the bottom. It's easy to see it this way. Flip that switch. Go on, flip it. You know you want to. Is it gone funny again? Has it gone funny again? Do I need to reload? Maybe I need to reload. Someone's going to flip it. Oh, there we go. They're done. No, I don't need to reload. Excellent. Let's flip it again and see if all that liquid has gone. Please be gone. Please be gone. Please be gone. Yay, the liquid's all gone. We've got a liquid destroyer and a gas destroyer. Uh, let's get rid of all of this and let's get rid of all of that and you can get through can't you if we open this door here oh that is perfect that is perfect so i'm going to leave these one locked for now otherwise we are going to start losing a load of our stuff but when this has filled up a bit more we can start letting some of the co2 run you know if it starts filling up a bit so what you could possibly do if I was to do this again, I'd move it down a bit. So we have a store above where the CO2 sits. Then we open the doors and let it drop in. Um, so I don't know why it's sort of showing red. We've, we've proved that nothing stays in there. Somebody's been through there now, haven't they? Let's mop these up. Oh, that is perfect. And they can mop a bit of that up if they want. Oh, they're running it into there. No, don't mop this up. Oh, every time they... <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work, is it? They're letting this out into here and the doors... Yeah, okay. Let's... We've tested it. We don't want that one doing that anymore. Let's deconstruct that. We want this one. I'm just like putting the stuff around in circles. <laughs> and let's mop all of this up. There we go. And put that where it should belong, over there. Oh, man. Excellent. I'm really pleased with that. Well, there we go. That's some good testing. Yeah, so what I was going to say is I'd move that lower down and have a little store above where our CO2 can sit, then open and drop it in. I think that would work quite well, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, very good. So if you enjoyed this episode, hit the big uh, hit the big thumbs up. You know what I mean? Hit the big B with the tea stain to subscribe. Hit the thumbs up as well. And be back tomorrow for some more Oxygen Not Included, the automation update. See you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.